Hey guys, it's Ozil here. Welcome back to another video of me ranting. Today we are going to discuss the main topic of is Twitch toxic? Alright. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Some of you are going to say, oh yeah, Twitch is toxic. All they're after is money. Well, I'd have to disagree with you though. Obviously, I've had some pretty bad experiences myself on Twitch. I've had someone turn around and give people an ultimatum of whether they can't watch me if they want to be part of that community or whatever. I've had shit like that. I've had trolls come into my chat and make me lose my shit on stream and bawl my fucking eyes out. Like I was that upset and that distraught about it that I didn't want to stream for a while. But there are also some good sides of Twitch. There are the forming connections, meeting all these streamers and all these friends that you never would have met without streaming or without Twitch. Now sure, some of these, some people may have like only perfect experiences on Twitch. They may go, oh yeah, I've been growing, I've been doing this, I've never copped any hate or whatever. It's all about experience, your experience on the platform. So, in short answer, is Twitch toxic? I would absolutely say no. I wouldn't say Twitch is toxic because I cannot judge a platform based on my experience and my experience alone. I know, yeah, there's trolls, there's haters, there's follow bots, there's all that sort of stuff. But ultimately, end of the day, it's not about Twitch. It's about your personal experience, who you've met on the platform, what your personal experiences are like streaming or watching other people's streams. It has nothing to do with Twitch itself. Twitch itself did not make these people toxic. It's the people that go onto this platform that make it toxic. Like sure, I've never had a horrible experience on YouTube. But that does not mean that YouTube isn't toxic or that people on YouTube aren't toxic. Whereas I feel as though on Twitch, it is very much a competition based thing. I've heard many people say, oh, it's not about the following you have. It's about all the average viewers. If you have shit average viewers and a lot of follows, then you will never make it as a streamer or whatever. I've heard people personally say that come like have that come out of people's mouths. Or I've had people do the blackmail thing or do like the ultimatum thing where it's like, oh no, you can either watch her or you can still remain a part of this community. It's up to you. I've had people do that to me where it's like, they've made people choose between watching my content and staying in some community. And I've had people message me about that as well. Like that was back when I was streaming. So taking that in mind, like taking that into consideration, I believe that I just had a shit experience on Twitch altogether. I do not believe that Twitch is toxic in any way, shape or form. Sure, it may be toxic with the experiences you have, but it's all about the people you meet. You can meet the most amazing people on Twitch and have an amazing time and grow and turn into partner and go through all that like amazing stuff that you can go through on Twitch. Or you can have experiences that are toxic on Twitch, but it does not mean that Twitch is toxic altogether. I know some people are just after money on Twitch. There are a lot of people that go on a Twitch and go, oh yeah, if you're not making this month, this amount per month, it's not even worth it, blah, blah, blah. You should just quit while you're ahead, blah, 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 blah. And honestly, it's a load of shit. Most people start off on Twitch because they love gaming or they love doing something that they love, like art or singing or whatever. Yes, most people do the gaming thing, but we're going to ignore that for a sec. It's like most people don't go onto the platform expecting to get partner straight away or expecting to hit affiliate straight away. They go on going, oh yeah, this seems like a fun idea. This seems like a great idea to meet some new people and maybe make a buck or two on the side. Like obviously you do have to hit that minimum. So just ignore the buck or two thing. But ultimately there are some people on this platform that make it toxic. 
that make it feel like the whole rest of Twitch is toxic, like Twitch is toxic in general. Whereas that is not the case. It's not Twitch that's toxic, it's people. People are the ones that make this shit toxic. And yeah, sure, you may argue with me and you may turn around and go, oh no, we've all had good experiences on here. Well, clearly not, because I know so many people that have moved away from Twitch because of the shit that they've copped. Because of the competition aspect of everyone wants to be better than you. And then when they are better than you, they rub it in your face. And they say, ha, huh, look at me, look how many average views I have, la 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 la. Or they just try and make shit. Or they try and like stir people away from your channel and put them towards theirs. Because that's just what people do. Pe some people are out there toxic as fuck wanting to ruin you. So ultimately, end of the day, if you are one of those toxic people on these platforms and you go, oh yeah, it's just for fun. Or if you're one of those ones that goes onto these platforms and goes, oh yeah, no, if you don't make this much in a month, you're not worth it and you're pathetic and you're not good enough or whatever. Like, I have ultimately had times where I have wanted to leave Twitch. And I have actually thoroughly said, I have put my foot down and said that once I start growing on YouTube a little bit more, I will probably leave Twitch just based on my experiences and my experiences alone. So yeah, I think that's enough for this ramble. Obviously, it almost has been about seven minutes. But yeah, ultimately, to finish the question, well, to answer the question straight up, obviously, no. Personally, I do not believe that Twitch is toxic. I believe you can have toxic experiences, but the site itself, for some people, can be fabulous, can be fantastic, can give you friends and family, not family as in like blood family, but you know, family as in like those who are closest to you. So I would not say that Twitch is toxic. I'd say some people are toxic on the platform. A lot of them are toxic on the platform actually. But ultimately it's your experience on the platform that is going to determine, determine your answer. If I was basing it purely on my experience on Twitch, I would say absolutely. My experience on Twitch has been absolute shithouse for a lot of it. There are so many times where I have judged myself based on what people have said in my streams or based on like what I've seen. So ultimately, there it is. Obviously, you know my answer. If you guys have a different opinion, then please comment down below. I'd love to hear your answers. Um, but yeah, ultimately what I'm saying is Twitch isn't toxic, it's the people on it. That's my flat out, straight up answer. But no, let me know how you guys, what you guys think about Twitch, what you guys think about the whole question. Is Twitch really toxic? Who knows? But I know from personal experience, my experience on Twitch has been very, very toxic with many, many people trying to tear me down. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Obviously, I do have some plans in place to do some more gaming content, some Just Dance content, and also some IRL stuff, aka okay? like Lego builds and stuff, depending on whether this video is put up before or after them. Who knows? But for now, I better off say goodbye. Have a glorious day, night, whatever, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys! Wow!